Check sound check two 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 two. two. Check 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 one two. Check check two. My older cousin had told me not to bother. He said I should stay home. We'd never get in. But I knew it was worth the risk because fabric was the dream. We'd waited months for this night, and I'd be 18 at midnight. My friends and I had scraped together every last penny to hire a rusty old minibus to take us into London. Where I grew up, the dumb thing to do for your birthday was another drunken night down the local playing cheesy dance floor hits. It's closed. <laughs> Tonight was going to be different. It must have been the most hyped night in history. All the way to the club, my heart was beating out of my chest. The queue was winding round the block. Every single one of my drum and bass heroes was DJing tonight. There was one huge bouncer. No, he was bigger than that. There were still 120 minutes and 36 seconds until I was officially 18. Would he let us in? We shoved my two tallest mates to the front of the queue and bam, they safely walked past the bouncer. I was up next. The bouncer looks me up and down, unimpressed. Sweat beads were forming on my forehead. In you go, lad. We were in. We were jumping, whooping. This is it. This is the moment. Yeah, 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 ye
When I look back on that night, it always makes me smile. Because I could have listened to the doubts inside my mind or bottled it under the pressure. Or worst of all, missed an opportunity of a lifetime and it landed right in front of me. But I'm so glad I didn't do that. Because now, I'm not just Simon.